Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry page. And there you can look at pictures and browse all the patterns that I have available for you to get a PDF of and knit up yourself. If you decide that you wanna knit one of my patterns, I would absolutely love to hear about it. You can either talk to me in the comments below or you can also check and there's a link below to my Facebook group for this channel watch Barbara Knits and it's a place where we can actually show pic share pictures and ask questions and interact a little bit better maybe than in the comments below but either way I even have a Ravelry group that you can come over and talk to me in because you know it's social media and it's everywhere it is May it is the very beginning of May and the first Thursday of May is always my monthly vlog and you know vlog is just a video blog isn't that like witty <laughs> my last vlog which seems like it was like a billion years ago was actually at the beginning of April and I was actually in Disney World and it's just kind of mind-boggling that um it's been that long ago and yet it seems like ah uh, I don't know so I got a lot of stuff to talk to you about but first <laughs> I wanted a little a tiny little um uh, catch up on Disney. So I really, we took our son who is 10 and obviously he got a Harry Potter one when we went to Universal and he got some really fun stuff, but I got one, well, three really, but I made one in completely frivolous purchase. Now, S Star Wars, since Lucasfilm was purchased by Disney or they went together or whatever, there's a whole lot of Star Wars in Disney and at the Star Wars shop, have you heard of Tsum Tsums? So Tsum Tsums are like the beanie baby of this era. If you're my age, that reference helps. If not, sorry. They're little stuffed animals. And the big thing about them is that they're stackable. They're like these little cylinders. And what they do is they take these little cylinders and just apply whatever character they're doing. They don't try to really shape it. And, um, well... I bought some <laughs> because I couldn't stand it. The first one that caught my eye was this guy right here. Look at him. So this is, if you're familiar with Star Wars, Grand Moff Tarkin. He is played by an incredibly distinguished British actor. He's evil. And I don't know who thought it would be a good idea to make a tiny, adorable stuffed animal of Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> It just makes me laugh so hard. And once I realized that Grand Moff Tarkin really needed to be in my life, I looked at some more because they were like three for whatever. So there was no point buying just one. So then we also have the incredibly tiny and cute and very cranky Count Dooku. Okay, so look at him. Look how cute he is. He's got his little hands and look how cranky he is. So we got our super cranky guys. And then just to cap it all off, <laughs> it's a tiny Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> okay, I just squeaked. Sorry. Look, he even has lightning bolts on his hands. So this is the evil, evil Emperor from the first series. So we have what my son refers to as the Triumvirate of Evil. And so we have the tiny, cranky uh, Grand Moff Tarkin and Count Dooku and Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> I, they just kill me. I think they're so cute and so cranky. So those are my little evil Star Wars toys that I got. Um, now on to knitting stuff. Sorry, I just had to share that because they make me so happy. Uh, it has been a huge month. I had my first book signing ever at Yarn Rhapsody in Gainesville, Georgia. And I want to say thank you if you're watching to Claudia for hosting it. It made me feel incredibly special and I loved meeting everyone who came out and it was super fun because I got to help people like pick out yarn for their projects and we looked at everything and I, um, 
sign books. It was just fabulous and I'm super excited about it. And I'm kind of glad that the first one is over because I'm going to be doing more. I wanted to let you guys know and I wrote it down that I have a book signing this month on May 20th at Sugarfoot Yarns and that's in Peachtree City, Georgia. That's south of the city of Atlanta. So if you're in the southern area, I would love to have you come and see me at Sugarfoot Yarns. I will put a link in the description below to their website so you can check them out. Again, that's May 20th. Um, this past weekend, I actually was in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. It was absolutely beautiful. I drove up and I drove up some more and then I drove up some more and I was up in the mountains and at one point I was on the road and it's like the mountains fell off on either side and I was slightly terrified but it is absolutely beautiful and I went to the Unwind Getaway run by Nancy Schroyer and had an amazing time. I taught three classes. I taught a class on um, called Elongated, Lifted, and Cinched, which is crazy techniques from Japanese stitch dictionaries. I taught a mosaic and lace class for the first time. And I taught a class on tips and tricks for using and picking patterns for variegated yarn. So those three classes and all my students were absolutely fabulous. I had a blast. If you have never been to a retreat, I really, I can't recommend it enough. It is so fantastic to be with a group of people who I can talk about knitting for like forever and they don't get bored and there's no eye rolling and <laughs> there's no sighing. It's to be with like-minded people. It's just fabulous. And you get to meet all these. I went in and I had never met. There were 50 people there. I think it was a little bit more and I'd never met any of them. And now I feel like I have a whole passel of new friends and I know I have new Ravelry friends and it's just great. And the Unwind Getaway specifically, I it was great. It was in this beautiful um, but row hotel. And the classes are in like the conference rooms. But it's uh, the little town is super cute. And there's a really cute yarn store in it called Unwound. Which apparently they didn't know that when they named the retreat Unwind. So it's coincidence. But so here it's Unwound is the name of the yarn store and it is 1132 Main Street in Blowing Rock. I actually made a shop tour video of it, which will be going up probably on Tuesday. And it was just lovely. Um, there were the, so the way the retreat went is we got there and there was like a meet and greet on Friday night and then classes on Saturday and then Saturday night there was shopping. They had members who were selling things in, who do stuff in the knitting, uh, in fiber industry. They sold stuff and that was super cool. And there was a presentation from some people from Mercer University all the way down in Georgia who have a uh, knitting and textile women's work style, uh, um, class that they teach at the university. And that was incredibly fascinating. And then on Sunday night, there was a fashion show and that was awesome. And it was amazing because every single person that was there got a door prize. And I want to show you my cool door prize I got. So here's this and look, so you know what this is? It is, let me show you. <laughs> you, you tighten it down. And it's a light. It's supposed to be a reading light, but it's a knitting light. So you sit back and you can see what you're doing. How cool is that? And when you just flip it down, it turns off. And when you flip it up, <laughs> I know that's super bright. I wonder what that did to the recording. But so, and it has little, um, like little covers that you put on it that change the light. But I don't think I'd want to change the light. I like the white. But I thought that was super cool. And I wanted to show you. I decided since my knit along is coming to a close. I think it's May 10th is the last day. I need to start putting together some prizes. And one of the places that was selling. One of the late, lovely ladies. Um, so she has a little Etsy store called Big and Biddy Bags. I will put a link to information. Um, here's all this. Ooh, is it focused? Ooh. 
I will put a link to all this in the um, description below. Up oh, there came focus. But I got this as a prize for my knit along. So this is super cool. It's a needle and notions tube. And it's got a slit in this end. Let me grab some needles. So that when you're knitting with your circular needles and you don't want your stuff to fall off, what you do is you take your needles and you just stick them through this rubbery gasket and they stay on. How cool is that? But it's also a notions tube because this other end comes off and you can drop like stitch markers and stuff in there and they'll stay in because this end just has the slit. So that I think is a super cool doohickey. Um, I should have bought a couple because I just got one for my my knit along prize and I'm like you know what I really could use some of these too the other thing I got was for a friend of mine who is also a designer and this I'd never seen anything like this before it's called try it on tubing for knitters and what it is is it's a tube and the tubes are open and you stick your needles in the edge end of the tube and this says most size us 2 to U us 8 and you stick your needles in one end. So you've got two ends of the tube and you put the needles in the end and then you can spread out your stitches if you're knitting a sweater so you can try it on and pull it over your head. Isn't that brilliant? I really hope my friend likes it, but um, this is also in the Big and Bitty bags and I will put a link to it. So I thought that was really cool. And at the lovely Unwound um, yarn store, I got another prize for the knit along. I got a shawl pin. Let me show it to you guys. Isn't that beautiful? I love, it's just super. I'm gonna put my hand behind it so it doesn't focus on me. Isn't that beautiful? I thought it was gorgeous. It's nickel. And so you've got the little, it opens up and you use it as a shawl pin. So this will be one of the prizes in my knit along. And the store was lovely. It had, it had a lot of the Kilbourne Woolens, the fiber company stuff, and just absolutely gorgeous stuff. So that is my haul from this past weekend. And what else do I want to talk to you about? Oh, what I was pulling my needles out of. So the shawl I showed you or talked about, yeah, the shawl I showed you that I was knitting in Disney, that is currently on my blocking board. I didn't get it finished last month because there was just a lot of craziness, but it will definitely be released this month. I have to get some pictures and finish writing the pattern and get it to my tech editor, and then we will be good to go. Now, I have moved on to a new shawl. I believe I might have shown you this yarn before, possibly. I don't know. Look e here. So that's the back side. I am working on a new shawl, and it is going to be gigantic. But I'm super excited. It's a stripey shawl, and it's going to be a whole lot of knitting. I thought that the the color had a whole lot to bring to the party. So I'm keeping the design as simple as possible. It's got a lot of knitting. It's going to be a very large shawl. This yarn is from the Fiber Seed. You guys know that I absolutely love them. They're independent dyers out of Tampa, Florida, who just do these fabulous, fabulous colors. And they're, so this is in their sock yarn sprout. And it comes in 150 gram skeins thereabout. So they're big old skeins and I got two of them. So if you think about that, your average one skein shawl takes about 100 grams and I've got 300. That's a whole lot of knitting and it's going to be a whole lot of shawl, but I'm really excited about it. It is going to be a lot of knitting, but it's going to be very simple knitting. And I am using my absolutely beautiful stitch markers from Everyday Peacocks. I just look, I think I opened these on one of my um, secret shoppers, but look how pretty they are. Jewelry for your knitting. So I talked about the retreat and I talked about my upcoming, uh, my upcoming book signing at Sugarfoot and the things I've been working on. And there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. And this is sort of, it's knitting related in a way. 
So have you guys heard of Patreon? It's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, E-O-N. And it is, it's not like Kickstarter, but people like to compare it to Kickstarter because, but it's not, you're not funding like a specific thing or, or a specific, Kickstarter is like, I want to make this thing. And they're gathering like one-time funding for it. Patreon is about like the old school concept of patronage. And what it is, is it's a way for artists to have a trickle of reliable income to, to be able to continue creating the art that they're creating. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and they, it's used in a lot of different industries. It's used in like the, um, in like the YouTube industry to an extent where people consider it almost a tip jar where, because like with me making these videos, um, you guys get to watch them whenever you want because you don't have to pay for them, but, um, it does cost money to make them, but that's not why I'm talking about it. <laughs> what I'm talking about it is that I have some friends who have decided to do Patreon and they're knitters. And these are knitwear designers on Patreon. And what it is, is it's sort of like they make special blog posts and special photographs and things like that, where if you become a patron and what that is, is pledging a certain amount of money every month. And the lowest point is a dollar. It's literally a dollar a month and you get access to this special feed. So it's kind of like reading a blog, but they put all kinds of like special content on it. Like you get to see swatches as they're developing new things. And depending on the level that you participate in, like there's the basic level, it's just like, I want to see your basic stuff. And then for the next up level, like if you pledge three or five dollars a month, you can maybe get to see special videos that they make. Or I know that at least two of the ones I'm talking about, it's they are guaranteeing they're going to release at least one pattern a month. And if you're at the $5 level, you get the pattern that they release that month for free. So they, you get the coupon and you get to download the pattern. Um, and so it's $5 regardless of how much the pattern actually is going to end up costing on Ravelry. So that's a super good deal. Plus the other content, there are levels which you can have like once a month, um, like special hangouts or special Facebook lives where you can interact. There's just, there's all kinds of really interesting stuff. And I just wanted to encourage you guys to check out Patreon because it's, it's something that in the knitting industry, I don't think has really been seen a lot of, but I think it's a really cool way for independent designers to, to connect with their audience and for you guys to get to like see special stuff and works in progress and all that kinds of stuff. So I'll put a link in the description below to the people. And what I'm telling you about is the people that I actually patronize that, and that sounds horrible because <laughs> patronizing has different connotations, but it's people who I've pledged and really, and truly I've thought about it. And so a dollar a month is $12. And these designers, they're people that I love their work, but you know, they live far away from me. And $12 is like what? Going to Starbucks twice and buying them a coffee? <laughs> I mean, it's not much. I mean, if you'd be willing to buy a designer, like go out to, you know, sit and have coffee with them once a month, it, how much would it cost you at yeah, Starbucks? I mean, if you get one of those unicorn frappuccinos, you know, it's just like a ridiculous amount of money, isn't it? So I just thought I'd mention it. Um, I don't have one, so that's not me trying to do this. I'm just saying it's interesting and you guys might be interested in it. So that's that. And I want to show you my pretty shawl again. I'm excited about it. And the very cranky, cranky Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay, I think I have been sufficiently silly for a sufficient amount of time. Watch for the video of the um, Unwound My Shop Tour. That was a lot of fun. And I will have all kinds of interesting things coming up this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.